Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is the story of the Complete Crew. Moving day. Having placed my award-winning picture of Chunk enjoying Thanksgiving on my bedroom wall, I investigate my new surroundings to find out who my neighbours are. The tribe has all expressed their artistic visions by putting their own stamps on their personal rooms. I find that tribe members who are old enough to remember when movies were good express messages of love thy neighbour and togetherness. And I'm sure it's no coincidence that the millennials among us have a less inclusive and tolerant message. Perhaps I'm old fashioned, but books like Fifty Shades of Grey and the deaths of our pop culture icons like Luke Skywalker and He-Man are starting to take its toll on our younger generation. They no longer desire masculinity or honour, and a vision of aspiring to be the perfect gentleman is old and redundant. A more submissive and less dominant male than myself may have a place in their new world, but like my father before me, I remain the gentleman and lead by example. Even if my fate is to walk so alone, I do so with my head held high. No longer is it the case that behind every great man stands a great woman, or perhaps one who just asks for permission. And it was then that I realized that I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. Trust me, lads, don't go in there. <laughs> we set sail on tribe mate Stone Cold's impenetrable motorboat of death and enjoy some homemade sandwiches courtesy of tribe mate Chonk. The three of us are enjoying a leisurely cruise, only to discover that the sheer hypocrisy and hubris of the younger generation strikes again. It would seem that tribe mate Shiny B has snuck into my room in the middle of the night to tattoo my forehead with her name. Oh, Shiny. She's in trouble, but... It's clear that the millennials make up their own rules, and because of this clear overstep of boundaries, I'm left once again feeling like the potential in the younger recruits to learn the ways of the gentleman is without a hope. Are we living on an island together where one has to worry about locking their doors and windows at night before going to sleep? Has the decision to allow each tribe mate their own space been a mistake? And is it a case of possession and acquisition leading to a more complacent mindset amongst our younger tribe mates? Perhaps we should punish such behaviour by giving them less so they contribute more. A thought I shall ponder on, and a Jedi would never take revenge. But dissent among a tribe cannot be tolerated. And should the complete crew be successful in its efforts to complete the island map, then it will need to work as a team and not as an individual. There is an admin command we can use to give players big heads, and perhaps both taking their own space away from them, and by taking their beauty. Perhaps we will teach them both empathy and respect for a person's space in the tribe. A debate we will leave to the next council meeting, and should we decide to kick the younger members out, I will in fact be able to expand my room into Blues who's moved in next door to me, should we decide to stick all of the younger members in a smaller dormitory. I also have reason to suspect that tribe member Blue is conducting an illegal operation next door to my own bedroom. He even had the audacity to rob my electricity, with no regard for the ugly wiring that was left protruding through the centre of my bedroom. If the rumours are true that the next Walter White has indeed taken up residence next to myself, then it's yet more reason to address perhaps building a school somewhere out in a swamp to isolate the younger members from the rest of the tribe. Myself and tribe mates Vex and Stone Cold tackle the artefact of the Brute Cave with little difficulty grabbing both experience, loot and the artefacts needed, but also conducting a science experiment on whether it's possible to tame an underwater cave creature if it's under level 150. The question as to why some creatures can be tamed and some can't is a mystery. I suspect that the other underwater cave falls into this category, and being that the artefact of the strong cave has polar bears and yetis, I suspect it applies there too. When we return to the base, I spend the next 30 minutes trying to remove the paint from my forehead. I try everything from taking a shower and dunking my head in the kitchen sink, but I eventually resort to asking tribe mates Vex and Marleybeg to wash me in the front entrance. When I eventually figure out how to remove the stamp from my forehead, I go to bed feeling like I was violated. Before I go to sleep that night, I wonder if my constant need to go for a crap every five minutes in front of other tribe members is a direct result of tribe mate Chunk's Element Dust Sandwiches or Shiny Bee's Paintbrush. <laughs> I've never used soap. No. Uh, I mean, I've used it to make, you know, to make pollen last, rather than... It, but, and I've used it to remove stuff 
on thingy, but how do you remove it off your face? The next time I'm able to log onto the server, I'm fortunate enough to do so at a time when a large part of the tribe is going out to do the artifact of the Cunning Cave. A tricky underwater cave as I demonstrated in my Gen 2 Island Note mini-series when I underestimated the cave and lost Attila, my Baryonyx. The group showed me an ability I'd totally forgotten about on the Basilosaurus, where it can blow water and make a rainbow, and we all take some screenshots. I'm pleased I was able to join the group here, as all jokes aside, one of the main reasons I encouraged Vexing Cat, my server admin, to organise all of this for the community was for new and old players to learn some new skills, but for the people that do have family, work and study still feel like they have a place in the tribe. It's moments like this that encapsulate why it's fun to play a great game like this with others. I found myself telling more than capable members of the group how to do the cave like I'm a master. I would like to say to all of the people that have been part and continue to be part of this tribe, that jumping onto Discord and hearing my friend Vexing Cat laugh genuinely and sincerely at you lot brings warm feelings to my cold heart. And hearing and seeing you lot all have fun is genuinely what this is all about. One of the best things about doing YouTube is reading a comment on one of my videos saying I made someone's day a little bit more bearable. But the friends I've made through the community and Discord is something I treasure just as much and I feel I can't take all of the credit for that without giving thanks to both Vex and everybody who's been part of this. I demonstrate the best way I feel to get to the artifact by dropping just low enough to bring the creatures out of the small entrance so all the players can surround them. Inside that hole it's very tight and it's very easy to get trapped and all it takes is a couple of alpha sharks boosting everything and it will make short work of an imprinted bassy. We carry on to gather any remaining loot and grab all of the explorer notes. The first time I explored this cave I couldn't find the artifact but I like the fact that it was hidden halfway through. Jaybird was the only member who fought to grab a land dino but the five of us were equipped enough to deal with the few bats and spiders that roam the tops here. On the journey back to the base we encountered both Alpha Mosas and Tussos, which will provide the tribe with the essential Alpha tributes that are needed. The tribe is starting to gather some good fishing poles as well, so I'd like to experiment with loot gathering and fishing soon. We make a cut in today's video outside the base walls, where tribe mate boss Chonk has built a new council chamber and where we will discuss the plans for the young Padawans in the tribe. He left a rhyme here for everybody to enjoy that reads My name is Red and I am dead Spawned on a beach wrapped a bit my head Now beneath the ark I make my bed For my name is Red and I am dead Dead. I want to thank all of the wonderful people scrolling up the screen right now and those now. of you that made it this far into the video. You are the milk to my cereal and thinking about you is like remembering I have ice cream in the freezer. Will the island crew band together to be successful in its efforts to complete the island map? What kind of a name is Red? And will I do another video featuring their antics? Possibly. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see ya. Can we call him Fred instead?